what's up guys we are still talking about what is going on in nigeria and outside greetings to you wherever you are it's a beautiful sunday morning uh the third september 2023 so i uh just want to share this video for you guys as everybody became obedient uh when peter will be attended uh, the wedding ceremony of his classmate's son, whose father is the vice chancellor of the UNN, uh, that is uh, Professor Charles Igwe. Of course, you have seen everybody struggling to uh, snap with uh, Peter B uh, during the wedding ceremony. I mean, Peter B, as we all know, uh, one of the presidential candidates um, that nigeria saw as the only hope that will revive the economy uh, the only person that has vision uh, to turn around nigeria of course uh, the hardship we have been you know going through a lot nigerians have been going through a lot the hardship uh, no palliative no measures has been put in place ever since the fourth subsidy i mean hardship every single day hardship every single day i mean and then the government is not helping out of course if they are helping out nlc will not plan uh embarking on a two days warning strike coming up on tuesday i think that will be on the sixth and then um, according to nlc the federal government for you to know that they don't even care about you that the federal government has failed to their promise for three consecutive time i mean nlc many people of uh, nigerians are not happy with the way nlc are handling issues they you know wanted to embark on a strike after the full subsidy and nothing had been done about it uh, but the next news of uh, nigerians head was that uh, the labor congress has um, suspended the strike and then they threatened the second strike. The next news was uh, they have uh, suspended the strike. The third strike, the same time. I mean, nobody seems to take NLC very serious any longer because don't be surprised. As the federal government says they are meeting NLC on Monday, don't be surprised. Monday evening, they will tell you that the strike, that will be tomorrow. They will tell you the strike has been suspended. And then they keep making Nigerians to look like fools of course because i don't see a government where workers will be lamenting for their welfare these are people that are making the money for the government these are people the same people you are owing salaries how do you expect them to survive somebody work for like 30 days how do you expect them to survive pay their bills what about those ones that have of uh, 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 you know families to take care of what about those ones that all the entire family depends on him and no salary has been paid and these are the people that is working for the government but yet you look at the expenses of politics i've never heard before a politician complaining of federal government owing the allowances owing their salary i mean if you've heard it before let me know on the comment section below it has never happened I have never heard it before. I don't know if it's happening. That the government is owing senators. That the government is owing House of Rep members. That the government is owing ministers. But the people that are working for the money, the same government is owing them. Not paying them pension. Not paying them gratuity. Not paying them salaries. Owing salaries for like three months. I mean, how do these people with blood running on their vein, know, knowing fully well that they are owing salary, they are owing human beings, not animals. You, 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 you are fully aware that you've not paid human beings like you salary working for the government for three, four months. I mean, how do you go to sleep for crying out loud? As a governor, how do you go to sleep it's, it's so pathetic. You understand? But when Peter B came, because these guys knew very well that Peter B will not, you know, bow to their bidding. He talks about cost of governance. They said, no, if this one come, 
ah, we're not going to see anything. That is why they didn't support him. Even when the Nigerians, majority of Nigerians supported Peter Obi's idea, cost of governance, it is only in Africa that the Senate, okay, should I say Nigeria? Nigeria, where citizens are looking for food to eat, but their senators are, oh, oh, as in, any more than Western countries, or any more than countries that are doing very well. Like Syria's. An African country where it's a, a newspaper allowance of a senator is one million naira. What in the read? Where we have a smartphone with all the Nigerian dailies. You can read it there. I don't know, I don't understand. A country where a newspaper allowance is one million naira. I mean, who does that? But see Peter will be everybody's embracing Peter will be. He walks around without security. I think um, one of these president, African president, that goes everywhere without security. Not this one, a, 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 a small local government chairman who have like 10 police escort. All right, guys, I quickly want to share this video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.